Well, this crocodile is a sort of mine. It is my crocodile, actually, and it is uh, not a real one. It is a resin cast of a real crocodile skull. Now, the reason I have my head outside of its jaws as opposed to inside them is that it's actually heavy enough to probably, well, certainly do some damage. And this is how big some of the crocodiles in the Mara River are. Quite impressive. I'll just turn it round for you. Now, R. Laura Moore, you're wondering what enemies adult crocodiles have. Other than other adult crocodiles and human beings, you'll find not many. Uh, there we are. That wasn't that terrifying. <laughs> Hippopotamus, I would, would be considered crocodiles' um, enemies. Uh, certainly lions, small crocodiles, definitely will eat. Uh, you probably find that um, uh, other crocodiles will eat small crocodiles, definitely, as I said before, I think. Certainly birds will eat small crocodiles, baby ones, but a big adult like this really only has hippopotamus to fear and man. Other than that, very little is going to have a go at a crocodile this size. And this thing probably weighs... This thing probably weighs, I think, in the region of about five kilograms, which is about 11 pounds. That's just the, you know, that's just, in fact, more than that. What about 15 pounds, the top and the bottom, obviously, they're much lighter. And Blue Raptor, you say, how does it hunt? Well, interestingly, the crocodile is unable to move its jaw from side to side. So I can't, like, you can do this. The crocodile cannot do that. So when I, I hold it here, it is unable to move its jaw from side to side, which means that when it snaps down on something, it, is, it, must, it must bite front on or turn its head and bite side on, but it cannot sort of bite to the side, if you know what I mean. And so what it does is that it lurks under the surface of the water. This is when it's hunting in ambush. It has a number of ways of doing it. But it, when it hunts in ambush, it will be very low under the water like that. And you can see how pu perfectly designed it is so that only its eyes need to stick out of the water. And then it will push off the ground, launch out of the water and snap down. It has a very fast uh, bite and grab whatever it is and then pull whatever it is back into the water. So that's one method. During these crossings, however, what it does is it will run along, well not run along, swim along towards the crossing animals and then try and catch one that is a little bit out of its depth. And you can see how awkward it is. The reason I gave you that whole explanation about the jaw is that you can see how awkward it is for them to bite animals unless they're at the right angle. So they'll come, they don't often twist and try and take a narrow bit, they'll just bite down onto the whole head or the whole neck of the animal that happens to be crossing and then try and hold on for grim death and drag them under the water. So they, it's either ambush or very much not ambushed during one of those crossings. The animals or their prey can see them coming. They know that the prey can see them coming and they just get into the way of the migrating herds and have a go at them. So I hope that answers your question. Um, Nathan, you say, how do crocodiles digest their food? Well, pretty much the same way that you do, Nathan. You say they eat so much. Well, I mean, proportionately, they don't eat that much. I suspect that you'll find per kilogram of animal, you know, they don't eat as much as we do or as most mammals do during the course of the year because they don't have to maintain a metabolic heat. But, yes, when they do eat a huge amount now, it's just, they've got very powerful acid digestion that will allow them to lay down a huge amount of fat. Their physiology allows them to lay down fat, which, of course, uh, will then be used over the course of the year when they're not eating. But it's no, there's nothing particularly special about the way they digest. Uh, they just have a physiology that is geared towards laying down fat and not excreting too much of the waste. Um, you know, they don't burn it off like we might if we ate too much. We, of course, also lay down fat if we're not careful. Not so. Here we are. Good.